I'm MashMail12.com and this is part 2 of how to create, well, to how to allow users to have their own background image. So in the last part we got up to um, doing the upload form and we had uploaded this image. So um, the next thing we need to do, um, well actually what I'm going to do is just check this image URL now. Um, so I just have this image again what I've used in the other video. Put it in there. Okay, click upload. Okay, and there we have it. Um, just hang on a second. Okay, so what I've just noticed is the this one here um, in the file structure, the uh, the um, URL image one has come back as the same name technically as this one. Um, so obviously I did something wrong here, and it was this image here. This should be named to image name. So if I just then just delete this image and then refresh the page and try this again there we go and you see how we've got the one in there which is my ID if I logged in as someone else so if I use I think it was Paul as you can see Paul has no images and if he chooses to upload another blah he gets two as the ID and in the file you get the same picture technically but um, you know the different named and ID'd. Right, so what I'm going to do is just log back in as Ash into there. Right, so what we need to do now is to change the background image to allow users to click on an image and change the uh, the background. So I think we'll go to here. If Set dollar underscore get change background. Okay. Um, so if it is, we're going to get to the new image that they want to change. So my screen score. Okay, and that is going to be from the get variable from the change background. Um, and then we just need to update the value of n slash a in the database. So update users set um, the BG image to um, that. Um, well, we call it image new. Um, into there where. Oops, where ID is equal to um, the user's ID and then we can just redirect back to the index page alright what have I done wrong here um, just have a quick check of this Right, looks like I've not done any concatenation onto there. Simples. Alright, so just to show you the database, um, under Ash I have n4 slash a. If we then click on um, the blah image, obviously that isn't printing out right, so we're going to have to check that later on. Um, and in the database, um, as you can see, the BG image has changed to that blah.jpg. Alright, the reason why um, that is printing out wrong is because we're not actually put it in, in any script tag. So script type is equal to text forward slash JavaScript and we'll just end the script off. There, okay, so now if we refresh the page, um, the background image will change. Alright, that's not even worth at all. Alright, it would help if you spell script right. Let's try it again. There we go, and there's the background image of blah, and if we try the favicon, there we go. And reset the background image back to nothing. Obviously we haven't coded that yet. Um so um I think we'll code that now to reset that image. So 
I'm just going to put on here and change background image for that and then this is going to be reset background image if it's set Um, we set background. We basically just want to update the value in the database. So basically, we can just get these two. Um, we want to change the background image to n forward slash a, where id is equal to the user's id. Okay, so reset image that changes it back to zero while keeping these images still in the um, still there okay so that works so the last thing we need to do now is to delete delete an image so if insert don't forget delete image um, okay, so we need to. Um, we don't want to echo it actually. Um, the deleted image that the user wants to delete. Okay, um, and then we want to unlink this. So I'll delete it basically from. Use our background for slash cutting it onto that. You deleted the image, okay, and then we need to go if um, BG image is equal to the deleted image. So if the if the uh, active background is the one that the user deletes, then we want to uh, update the database. We'll reset the database back to nothing basically. So um, we can just redirect we could call just call this query again um, but what I'm going to do is just locate back to the reset background else um, head up we're just going to locate back to the index.php alright so I think we're all good now so if I just Try and delete an image, try and delete Favicon. That deletes. Um, say we've got this one set up and we want to delete it. Um, it should delete and then reset back to the white background. And there we have it. And that's basically it. That's how to allow users to upload their own background image or import it from a URL. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.